Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and in today's video I have a cozy book haul. Now this is different than my normal videos. I do a lot of stationary videos and journaling videos but this summer I've been really loving books and I've gotten a lot lately. Even more than this this summer but this is like the most recent pile so let's just get right into it. I've made myself a chai tea latte for this video just to make it feel more cozy for myself. So this is a collective haul. Like I didn't just go and buy all of these at once. I did buy quite a few books on my Veganiversary. Let's get into this giant stack. First of all, the places I bought these books, I only bought some on Amazon. Then I bought from Barnes and Nobles because I have a membership and they're open a lot more than local bookshops and it's easier to go to. But then I also bought from different local bookstores. And on my Veganiversary is when I went to like a couple different local bookstores. So I don't even know know where to start. I'm actually going to bring up these three books first because I mentioned all three of these books in my latest Target haul even though I got these from Barnes & Noble. I got three books and I've already read two of them. I've started this one but I haven't finished it. The Worst Best Man which seems to be a popular book lately. I don't know. The reason I got it was because I heard a lot of booktubers talking about it. Overall it was like a cute book. I think I gave it four stars actually. I think it was a good trope like the forbidden love aspect and stuff. So basically what it's about is this girl, her name is Lena. She almost marries this one dude, but he leaves before the wedding. And then later on, it skips to the future and she ends up having to work with the brother. She thought like encouraged him to leave her. And so it's like about their relationship. Then I have Call Me By Your Name, which I'm sure you've already heard of it and already know about it. The movie is very popular. This book is just like a coming of Eight, this dude kind of discovering his sexuality and stuff and so what happens is he's in Italy for the summer so every summer a student comes and stays over the summer I don't know it's kind of weird because the father is like a professor and so Oliver was the dude who stayed this summer and this is Elio who's the main character but yeah and then this is here for it which is a memoir the author writes for L.com so he is a black queer man and it kind of talks about all the struggles behind that how he was kind of felt like he was always kind of out of place or like it was saying like he didn't like really realize that at first but like he was always different than everyone and it's it's a funny book and he's a really good writer. I haven't gotten that far in it, but I really need to read more of it. Okay, these two books I got at a local bookshop. I got Little Women, which is obviously a classic. I've never read it before and I really would like to, but I'm gonna lend it to my mom first. It's a thick book, so I don't know when I'm gonna read this. It's like a fun cover and I really love the size of it. Like it's a really nice size, I don't know why. The next book I got from the same local bookshop is like very short. <laughs> it is Greta Thunberg. No one is too small to make a difference. And this is just a book. It's a small book of all of her speeches. And the reason I bought this is because I want to read all of her speeches to learn more ways to speak about the topic to make it feel more urgent for me. And when I speak to other people to like describe the urgency of our situation. But yeah, this should be a quick read. So I really just need to squeeze it in sometime because it shouldn't take too long. I'm trying to do this by like when I bought them. So like which ones I bought together. Okay, we have another set of three. I know I bought these two together. I don't know about this one. Um, let's talk about this one though. This is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren and it's actually two authors and they've combined their names into a pen name. So this is just both their first names. So I have read this book. I gave it five stars. I really like this book. The reason I got this book is because of Mayana here on YouTube, Mayana Reads. So loved her recommendation. This book kept me on the edge of my seat. Like some of the things that happened, I was like, like I was reacting out loud and it was embarrassing. I recommend this book. Also just like funny. I didn't even like talk about what it's about. This girl, she has a twin and her twin is getting married to this dude and she considers her sister to be super lucky. So she like wins all these raffle drawings and like contests so that she gets free stuff. And so a lot of the wedding was like free from winning things. Um, so things go wrong. This is like so bright in the back. Basically the whole wedding gets food poisoning because of the buffet but she didn't eat from the buffet and the the like groom's brother didn't get food poisoning 
happening. They end up taking the honeymoon because they both look like them. Like she looks exactly like her sister and then he like has the same last name. It's about them and then also like things seem to go wrong on the honeymoon as well. And they both hate each other. I got such a fun age. I feel like everyone has been reading this book recently and it's been a very popular book. I just started it recently. I've read the first chapter and already the first chapter is so interesting. I feel like most books, the beginning of the book, like you have to get through like 50 to 100 page for it to actually be interesting, but it was interesting from like page one. So I'm very excited to read this book. Then I also got White Rage. I need to read more literature like this so I can learn about race more because I think books are a really great place to learn about racial injustice and also how to better yourself and so on. So White Rage, I know that this like cover has like symbolism, but I kind of forgot what it meant. Um, But it's the unspoken truth of our racial divide and I really need to fit this in. I see I'm slowing down my reading because I can't read right now because I should be reading my books for school, but I'm not doing that and I'm sad and I doubt I'll be able to read that much in the school year. So who knows when I'm gonna read all these books that I wanna read. Yeah, that's all these three books. And this was the moment where I destroyed my thumb. That was painful. I think these are the books I got from Amazon at some point. This one I pulled off my shelf for this haul. Like I already had my books together, but I pulled out this book because I realized that I got it at some point, but I put it on my shelf and I haven't read it or I don't know, done anything with it. So this book is still new to me and I don't remember when I got it, but it's called This Adventure Ends. This is the author that wrote Foolish Hearts, which I have read that book, and I remember that book being good, I think. So pumped, and also this is such a cool cover. Kind of forgot what this book was about. I know it has something to do with friendship. I'll just read the back. It's a really short back. Every adventure ends, but here's where one begins. Sloane isn't expecting to fall in love with a group of friends when she moves from New York to Florida, especially not a group of friends so intense, so layered, with private tragedies and secret codes, so all-consuming. Yet that's exactly what happens, and it will lead her and um her dad on a life-changing adventure. Heartfelt, funny, and true, Emma Mills' second novel is unforgettable. I don't know. We're just gonna go for it with this book. Why not? And then these two I remember I got at the same time. This book I'm very excited for. I randomly found this book when I was watching a book haul. That's why I watch book hauls is like to find books. So that's why I'm making this book haul because I watch them and they're useful to me. I read like a lot of fiction, realistic fiction. I'm not a fantasy person. I'll read some nonfiction, but I lean towards fiction. I just think it's more enjoyable. Sometimes I like push myself to read other things. And then also sometimes I'll read like self-help books. But this is a realistic fiction book. And the reason this book got me so excited was because it's about this kid who is going to a Catholic school for like the first time. And he's an atheist and he just like kind of feels like he won't fit in because he is an atheist. Like he doesn't agree with other people's views and stuff. This one girl like speaks up in class and he thinks that maybe he might have like the same opinions as him or beliefs but actually she doesn't she wants to be a priest but this is a catholic school she's catholic and she wants to be a priest and in the catholic church women are not allowed to be priests so then she shows this guy to the group of like outcasts and i guess it's like him kind of joining this friend group i'm very excited because i go to um an all-girls catholic school and i relate a lot to this character or this book like even just like being in class and like hearing someone say something and being like maybe they have different opinions too like i'm just very excited about this i don't know when i'm gonna read it but i need to read it and also i feel like at my school like i'm like kind of in that weird like outcast group <laughs> very excited the next book is called the vanishing half this is another book that i've heard a lot of people reading like i feel like it's such a fun age that like people are reading right now this book sounds really interesting it's about these two people i think they're siblings or like twins or something i don't oh they're sisters and yes they are identical so so basically these girls are both white passing and they take different 
paths in their life. One passes as white while the other tries to embrace their true culture, I guess. And it's talking about just like how both of their lives go and like, I don't know, the difference. It just sounds so interesting. I think that's such an interesting concept. I'm really excited for this book and this is another one I need to try to find time for. That's like all the books right now. One more. The last one... The last one is another one that I feel like people have been talking about a lot lately or been reading a lot. I've just been seeing people read it a lot, basically. This is the same reason why I got Worst Best Man and I read that. This is Red, White, and Royal Blue. I didn't even say like any of the authors. You can tell by the cover. Look them up. So this book is about the president of the United States and a young royal and it's basically like their love story. I'll read the very end of this. It says, it raises the question, can love save the world after all? Where do we find the courage and the power to be the people we are meant to be and how can we learn to let our true color shine through? So yeah, it seems like a nice gay romance and I'm excited. Oh my god, when I dropped the stack of books earlier, it like hit my thumb on the way down and i just realized that i'm bleeding my thumb is bleeding oh my god it's so disgusting I'm just gonna move on from that let me put these on top so that is all the books that i'm hauling in this video i have lots of reading to do plus i have all my summer reading yay Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Talk to me in the comments. I respond to all of them. And also give this video a like if you like it and maybe if you want some reading content. I'm not a fast reader. I'm such a slow reader. So and I'm not a booktube person, but I do like books. But that's it for this video and I will see you in my next one. Also subscribe.